Hello everyone, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to recreate this beautiful glitter ombre tumbler. So let's go ahead and let's get started. What I have here is a 20 ounce skinny, and this is from the Stainless Steel Depot. I will have a link for them down in the description box below. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taping off the bottom of this tumbler. Now you can absolutely skip this step if you want to add your glitter to the bottom of your tumbler. I personally just did not want to add, or add glitter to the bottom of the tumbler because I'm just going to spray paint when I'm doing my power wash. I'm going to spray paint the entire bottom of my tumbler. Now, after you have the bottom of your tumbler taped off, we can go in with our glitters. I'm using Lotus, Too Hot to Handle, Sun Glow, Pool Party, and Zest. I absolutely love these colors. All of this glitter is from the Glitter Grind, and I will have a link for them down in the description box below as well. Now, I'm going to be putting the glitter on via the Mod Podge method. So I just have this Mod Podge here. I'm going to pour it into a little container and then I'm going to use my makeup brush and apply my Mod Podge all over the tumbler. Now, normally I would do the epoxy method with this um, just because you have to move kind of fast. That way the Mod Podge does not dry. But again, it's personal preference whatever you'd like to use here, you can use. So I'm just coating my entire tumbler with the Mod Podge, making sure I put on a generous coat and coating the entire tumbler. Now, after you have your Mod Podge on there or your epoxy, whatever you're using, you can go in with the first color. The first color that I'm going to be using here is the blue, which is Pool Party. And I have my tumbler even because I want most of the color to be distributed right there. And then I'm going to tilt my tumbler so the bottom is facing up to give that ombre effect. After you're done applying your first color, you can go in with your second color. Now I have this slightly angled, that way the glitter can cascade up the tumbler. And now I'm going to angle it to where the bottom is facing down. <laughs> That way I can get some of that glitter on top of the other glitter that I just placed. I really hope that makes sense. <laughs> That's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> and then I'm also going to really tilt it. That way the bottom is facing up. That way I can take that second color and cascade it towards the top of the tumbler. That way it goes into the next color. And you're gonna continue this process with every single one of your colors. And this is what the tumbler is going to be looking like after you got two coats of epoxy on it or you epoxy it until it's smooth. And I am so sorry about the last clip. Um, my camera died, so I didn't get the rest of my glittering on there. I'm really, really sorry about that. But what we're going to do is I'm going to put this decal, the summer and palm trees. I am using removable vinyl here because I am going to use this as a stencil for my power wash. So I'm just picking out a spot on the tumbler where I think it would look best. And I'm going to put this right along the side of my tumbler here. Now I do have this decal available on my website if you would like to purchase it. And my website will be down in the description box below. Now, after you get the decal pressed down pretty good, you can go ahead and take that transfer tape off. And as you can see here, I forgot a little spot within the R, so I'm going to take that off as well. <laughs> and this is what I'm going to be using from the outline. This is the like the mirror vinyl from HTV Rant. Hopefully I said that right. But this vinyl is absolutely gorgeous whenever it gets on this tumbler. Well, that looks a little better. Now this is going to be our outline for our power wash. This is the color that I'm going to be using for the power wash. It's called Island Girl and it's by Color Shot. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. 
And this is what the tumbler is looking like right after the power wash method. You want to make sure that it's really, really dry whenever you start taking your stencil off. Now I'm just going to go in with this little picker tool that looks like a pen. So cute. Um, and I'm going to go in and carefully remove my stencil here. I'm going to remove the palm trees first, and then I'm going to go in and remove the summer. And I'm being really careful here because I don't really want to puncture the epoxy or get rid of any more spray paint, <laughs> if that makes sense. And this is what our tumbler is looking like after we remove the stencil. So now we're just going to go straight in and put on this offset. Now, if you feel more comfortable, you could totally do a layer of epoxy, but I'm just going to dive right in and put it on there. I'm just going to line it up, make sure I have it on there nice and straight, and then lightly press. That way there's really no chance of any of my paint pulling up with the transfer tape. Now, like I said, you can do a layer of epoxy and then apply this because I almost lost my E. <laughs> Whoops. Um, but I just lightly press and I've never really had an issue of my paint lifting with my transfer tape. So I just usually just dive right in and do it. Now, after you get your offset on there, you are ready to epoxy. Now that we're done with all of our decals, we're ready to go in with our final two coats of epoxy. What I have here is 20 milliliters of Speedy PD, which is a fast set epoxy by DIY Epoxy. I will have their link down in the description box below if you're interested. Um, I absolutely love this epoxy because you can use it on all layers, even your final coat and it cures within two hours. But I'm just making sure that I'm putting a nice even layer all over this tumbler. And afterwards, I'm going to go in and hit it with my heat gun. If you prefer to use a torch, that's fine too. Then that's just to ensure that I pop any micro bubbles that may be lingering. And this is our final result. I'm absolutely in love with this tumbler right here. I feel like it turned out absolutely gorgeous, and I really want to thank you all for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I really hope this video inspired you to recreate this tumbler or something similar. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.